So, lower mo na yung tires natin. Muffler needs to be slightly put down so they can mount the, the hitch. So as you can see, it's like a straightforward hitch. So it's a complicated one. Kavango is a complicated one. We include the trunk. Oh, okay. okay. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so are you a YouTuber? Not really. So just documenting stuff. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna check everything out. This is here. Tag is here. Mounting the hitch. I don't like the way we're setting Shaping up. Finished product. Thanks to OGP, right? <laughs> you guys need a hitch? Contact this. Look for this. Alright. See you next time. Guys, first time nating susubukan to today. Kaya tapos lang namin magride, so we'll give it a spin and see kung hindi siya alog. Guys, so uh, I've been monitoring your bike from here. Uh, mukhang stable naman, so looks good. But we'll try it out sa mga darating pang rides. All right, let's go. So guys, uh, as you can see, a very basic uh, bike rack. Ito yan, H2 na Buzz Rock. So let's quickly talk about few things na I really like about the, the bike rack and few things na siguro medyo downside of having a basic one. Huh? Let's go! Alright, so number one, siguro let's talk about muna yung things I like. Huh? So very basic. So as you can see here, so it can actually be folded, mommy. I'll take a video. So the bike can be folded uh, uh, kapag hindi mo na siya ginagamit. So, so which means it saves you a little bit of space at the back. Uh, so you can also park uh, properly uh, when uh, getting into your destination. So also, uh, one thing I really like is, you know, mag magan lang siya. So it's less than 10 kilos yung rack itself. 
and then uh, very secured naman as you can see so it has proper straps uh, sa mga gulong and uh, I think it also has a really nice space from the car and also yung bike itself so hindi siya masyadong tight sa area na yun uh, also in terms of height elevation so as you can also see so hindi siya mababa you don't need a riser uh, kagaya nung some other bike racks na straight lang siya from the hitch eto naka angled na siya properly uh, properly raised so in tendencies of hitting something with reversing uh, fully elevated and fully visible sa car at the back so yeah i think that's that's a few things i i like about the the bike rack so uh, very easy to install uh, walang rikotitos pasikot sikot so uh, that's the job Alright, so let's talk about a few things that I observed na siguro downside uh, about uh, the bike rack. So number one, I don't feel really you know comfortable na yung kanyang mounting I strap lang. So which means uh, you cannot actually leave the bike if you plan to park and get something. So kasi easily somebody can you know simply cut it off or unstrap it and they can technically you know take the bike so you needed an additional siguro uh, cable lock para to, to secure it so that's one second is you know dahil this is an you know compact suv so there are chances na you would need to open eh, yung yung trunk no so that said the uh, bike rack is not able to do that so, hindi siya natitilt. Uh, I think that's the next level model ng buzz rack. So, hindi siya nagmo-move. So, you can actually open the, the trunk. So, it's fixed. So, yun yung isang downside. So, if you're planning to maybe perform from me, if you're planning to ride, eh, siguro yung mga gamit ko nasa second row ng seats, hindi sa likod. So, just there's no way I can access and reopen until such time ibukas ko yung bike. So, second uh, third siguro is parang masyadong too tight yung space between bikes ha? so pag tinignan mo uh, ito yung bar na nagahawak so eh, masyadong nag overlap yung bike which is also nice in a way pero parang too tight lalo na yung yung bike uh, there's tendency na they can actually hit each other masyadong malapit na yung clearance so kung medyo meticulous ka na magasgas, marab yung bike mo so chances are eh, chances are high actually so that's another one uh, other than that uh, I think it's okay no so hindi lang siya kagaya nung again mga sophisticated na inner rack uh, yung quad uh, or even yung tule na uh, tire ano siya tire lock so this one lahat ay everything is strapped so it takes time pero hindi naman ganun ka complicated so you just need uh, to allocate few minutes para to to set it up overall i i think it's okay you know so uh, considering na hindi naman ganun ka kamahalan yung bike natin so i'm more than comfortable sa entry level na buzz uh, and siguro we'll see we'll try it out more and more uh, kapag nandito tayo again riding in the Philippines but uh, so far so good I'm happy I'm uh, happy with the purchase and sa budget na in spent for this entry level by like so till then that's it guys uh, if you like this video uh, Give me a thumbs up and also feel free to, to comment and suggest if you see na, na miss out on this point. So, maraming salamat. Uh, till next weekend. Bye!